Ladies and gentlemen, Dizzle is back, and we are here with Durberger Gas Station. Uh, we, we got a glimpse of this, of what Dizzle had started um, in the last video. Uh, we made changes. We made lots of changes, and I still want to make more, and we're, we're not done. I got some unfinished stuff going on up top, but uh, I expanded this out just a little bit, just so it wasn't flat. Raised it up so we could fit this in here. Uh, in the back, we do have a desk back here with some storage. Uh, guys, I made this uh, functional for survival. I thought about it, and like we're in survival world, and if I were to use this, I would definitely use it for survival. So that's how I built it. It's got some some elements of you know fun to it, obviously, um, but honestly, it's gonna. I want it with the intent for uh, for so I can't remember if I have the cell in here or not. This little uh, speeder is uh, fast. Not gonna be able to make that turn probably with the larger vehicles. But, let's see, let's make this turn. Got the drive up window. You could act, get some food from here. I thought about um, doubling these up. I tried it, I didn't like the way it looked. I like the single look because I thought maybe we get one on each side. And you can. You can fit one on each side. I suppose I can show you guys. Let me let me do that. We got time. This is just uh, pretty much a walkthrough, guys, anyways. I, I want to do more. I want to actually, guys, if you don't mind, I actually want to add some Durberger blueprints just to see how this all fits in with that. Uh, I think it would look pretty cool. I had to take out that structure because... Uh, I needed the space <laughs> and I might be taking this out. I need to keep this because I still have to do a tutorial on that for you guys. Uh, see what was I gonna, oh, this over here. Uh oh, I don't want that to break. Let me get that out of the way. Uh oh, I break it. Let's move this out of the way. Uh oh. It's not steering right. <laughs> oh no. Oh, uh, anyways. <laughs> so you can put one on each side. I think guys, obviously I'm pretty sure you guys are gonna ask for a tutorial on this. The way I would do it is I'd break it down to components. Uh, this would be one, that would be two, and then this would be three. And then how you guys do this, I'll leave that entirely up to you guys because that's gonna depend on where you're at, how much land you have, and what vehicles you're going to use. Um, those of you know, Dizzle is not big on uh, toys himself. He hasn't used them that much. Not to say that won't change. Um, I'm sure there's going to be some pretty cool builds out there. Dizzle just might take someone's build <laughs> and utilize if it's something uh, he really likes. But... Honestly, I was looking forward to this right here the most. And maybe that vehicle now. We can put a rocket on the end of that. And it can move a little bit quicker. Because it's slow with two power cells for sure. Uh, what else I got going on? I need to fix... Let's go up top. I got to fix this. And then I'll take you for official tour. Again, we put some things up here just to make it look a little... A little legit. Uh, we got to take this out. This isn't right. This isn't right. These are things that I got to fix. I got to make sure I have material as well. I went through a lot with this material wise guys. All right, that's fixed now. How about that side? This side is not nothing major. There we go. You can kind of see up top too. You see how I, you really don't see it down there, which is kind of a bummer, but it kind of gives it that little uh, decorative edge. I had that going on. I put some lighting in. The light's about the sun's about to go down, so I can show you how it looks. It looks really nice at night. I think this game looks nice at night as a whole. Uh, but I made this functional, guys. I put a bed in here. Uh, with with in mind with vehicles, you would need the smelter or the sand. 
uh, for the glass, uh, the vehicle for the uh, the power cells using biomass. And then obviously if you're gonna have this, you might as well have your essence table in here. I think these two always will go together, uh, my opinion. But I wanted to, I don't have the material on me. So we're just gonna use these for now. But I'm thinking, actually, give me just a second. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. I wanna make, I was gonna make it with the basic ones. I'm like, no. Let's do that. And I think it's, this is an interior, interior wall. That's nightly. It was an interior. I thought Durberger had one. I mean, they're all the same. Or there is dine-in. Why can't I put another one? Like Dizzle was in the way. Guys, I had fun today. I love building. Especially when it comes to survival. There we go. And then you can still, we can still put, uh, I don't know how much wood I have on me. Uh, that's Durberger right here. That won't go. There we go. There we go. We got storage here. Yeah, I think we have plenty. So I got some lighting in here again. If you were to build this and then if you wanted to make it fun... I, I kept the drive. I try to try to leave a little bit of both. Um, depending how you wanted to utilize this, guys. I'm going to leave that up to you. Oh, the, the sun is going down. This is pretty cool. I had to extend this side for the vehicle. This vehicle won't fit this way. And we should be able to fit that one on this side. This the, This was in mind with bigger trucks. It might have to go one more higher um, to clear to clear the top part. I probably will do that. Um, but I ended up extending it this way because then that side could fit underneath because it wouldn't work this way. And I didn't want to bump the road out that much further. I didn't mind doing it here. But, uh, but I want to add, let's see, so we can show you. I want to add some of these in here. Whoa, not that one. You turn. That wouldn't be bad. Will it fit there? Oh, it might. Fit right there. How cool will that look here, guys? That's kind of what I want to do next. I apologize now in advance because I want to see show you guys how this looks at night. But if you're watching this during the day, it is going to be hard to see. So just FYI. But I put this booth in. Change direction. Change direction of those. That's cool. I guess that's for uh, machines type things that you're making. But uh, yeah, put the booth in here. I thought that was a nice touch over here on the, uh, this is what Dizzle, Dizzle's calling the diesel side. This is regular. Let me take you, let's go this way. Again, plenty of light in here. We're gonna get attacked here, probably. But then the drive up, the drive through, we lit it up on this side. Again, the drive up window. I got some some street light type. I didn't know what to do, but that's what I did for now. If there's anything better out there, let me know. And also let me know what do you think we what else we should do to this. These guys don't come after me. Here they are. Watch 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 this. This is funny if I can get in before. I had a bunch here last time. That Dizzle was getting the biomass like you wouldn't believe because they were they were coming right over here and I would just uh, trap them right there. But yeah, what else do you think we should add to this? Again, I want to add some Durberger stuff just to see how this all fits in, how it looks. 
Uh, I'm gonna wait for daylight and uh, we'll, we'll be right back. All right, guys, the sun is coming back up. Uh, Dizzle's gonna split this one. Split this one. I'll show you all the uh, biomass that I have. Be honest, now farming at night is has become a thing for Dizzle now. Never really either would it build or just wait for daylight to to um to build. But this is all the biomass I have created so far. There's some nights I didn't do anything, but for the most part I would run around and kill the skellies while I was working on this, and then uh I when daylight came like this, rose or the sun rose, and put the stuff in, and then I kept working on this. So it worked out, at least for me. Well, let me know you guys. Let me know your let me know your thoughts again. You saw that I think it was a pretty much a base structure in the uh, previous video, and then this will just expanded like he always does. Um, I like it. I like the way it turned out. Definitely different. Uh, I think it was Jay. Jay was asking, "Are you gonna do anything with Durberger? <laughs> Here you go, Jay. <laughs> this is for you. Uh, I knew that when I did my um. My uh, thank you for 1,000 subscriber video. I kind of hinted that uh, I do had something in mind for uh, uh, Durberger, and this this was it. All right, guys, Dizzle is uh, gonna end this one. Just a short uh, tour of the Durberger gas station. Again, let me know your thoughts. I kind of want to add these Durberger blueprints in here, around here, just to see how this all fills in. That for sure will come out. Unfortunately, I mean, I can take that out. I know how to rebuild that. Um, so that wouldn't be hard. It seems like it gets in the way of what we got going on. I'm kind of bummed that I rebuilt this so close to uh, our log cabin base. Because I would actually like to use this now as a, a functional uh, village. Not sure where the uh, village square would go, but you can build another one of these also over there and use put the more machines in there. And the uh, the villagers. But I like this. I, th I think it turned out really nice. Again, we have uh, four composters going. So we get plenty of uh, biomass. Plenty of fertilizer now. You don't have to worry about getting it from chickens or sheep or cows because as long as you put the bones in here, you're getting... I actually had to have excess on the other... by my uh, garden over there because I have so much of it now. But all right, guys. That's going to do it. One last walk around. This is really cool. I had fun with this, guys. I had a lot of fun. Different from what... Uh, from what we normally have built in the past, for sure. I like it. All right, Dizzle, we'll catch you on the next one.